Okay, fourth and fifth graders. Today is Monday, February 3rd, and fourth graders, we're actually going to be skipping some lessons. You know that we the last lesson we did was 5.21, and you can see today we're doing 5.28. We're going to skip to 5.28, and then we're going to come back to fill in the missing lessons afterwards, okay? And the reason for that is because, as you can see, lesson 5.28 is kind of a standalone lesson. Its learning goal says, I can solve word problems involving line plots. Now, if we look at the fifth grade lesson, fifth graders, today you're doing a brand new module. You're starting module four. Eureka mod Math mo lesson f module four, lesson one, is also a standalone lesson all about line plots. So fourth graders, we're going to skip ahead to 5.28 so that we can have math all together today because both fourth and fifth graders are going to learn how to make and analyze line plots. Okay, make sense? Good. So as mentioned, today we're going to be talking about line plots. A line plot is a, a visual representation. It's a kind of picture or a kind of graph that gives you information. Okay, everyone hold your pencil up in the air right now. Okay, now everyone is holding a pencil. You also have a ruler in front of you. What I would like you to do is please measure your ruler, but round it to the closest whole inch, okay? And then you're gonna write down how many inches long your pencil is on, in your notebook. Go ahead and do that. When we make a line plot, remember it's a graph, and the first thing we need is a number line at the bottom. So in your notebooks, go ahead and draw a horizontal line all the way across, and leave some room. Don't draw it right at the top of the page. I would say at least leave half of your page. Draw it about halfway down your page. Okay. In order to make a number line, we have to add some numbers, right? So we could say this is 0, and let's say this is 12, because that's probably, no one probably has a pencil longer than 12 inches. Right in the middle, that would be 6 inches, right? And then we can divide, right here, this would be 3 inches, and this would be 9 inches. And that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11, 12. Do you guys see how the first thing we do to set up a line plot, to make a line plot, is to draw a number line at the bottom. You'll also notice at the bottom, it says class pencil lengths to the nearest inch. It is important for every line plot, and every graph for that matter, to have a title so that people know what they're looking at. The title of our uh, line plot is class pencil lengths. And then in parentheses, I write the units so that when they look at these numbers on my number line, they know what the units are. They're inches. Okay? Very good. Now, the next thing our line plot needs is some data. So when I call your name, please tell me what number you wrote down, how long your pencil is. Maria? Four inches. Four inches. So for the first pencil in our class, we're going to draw an X where four inches would be. Violet, how about you? Five. Five. So same thing. We're going to draw an X where five pencils are. Or five inches are, sorry. Ikaksh, how about you? Um, six inches. Six inches. So you know what to do. We're going to put an X above where six inches is. So Kina, how about you? Five. Five. So we've already put in, sorry, I'm gonna, and we can, to make it more clear, I'm going to write these numbers here. One pencil was already five inches, but Sakina's is also five inches. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a second X right on top of our original five. So looking at this line plot, how many pencils have we recorded so far? Four. four. We can see we've recorded four. One, two, three, four. Based on the data we've seen so far, what are the, what is the range of the lengths of pencils? It goes from four inches to six, six inches. Which pencil length is the most common? Five, five inches. So looking at it, we can see there's two data points or two X's for five. Okay, let's keep going. Tatiana, how long was your pencil? Four inches. Four inches. So now we're going to put another X above four. So you can see when we have a, another pencil of the same length, we just add another X on top. Kashyap, how about you? Six. Six. Okay, let's go ahead and add six inches. Avani, how about you? Five. Five inches. So we're going to add another X for five inches. Arnav, how about you? Five inches. Five inches. Okay. Sornima? Five inches. Five inches. Okay, good. Keep adding those X's. Sushant? Four inches? Is that what you said? Yeah. Okay, so let's add a data point for four inches. Anirag, how about you? Five inches. Five inches. Anushka? Four inches. Four inches. Anshul? Five inches. Five inches. Zara? Um, five inches. Five inches. 
Uh, Varshini. Five inches. Five inches. Sachi. Five. Five inches. Sanvi. Five inches. Five inches. Haruto. Four inches. Four inches. Sparsh. Seven inches. Seven inches. Okay. So it's right next to six. Good. Garrett. Four inches. Four inches. Good. So as I tell you each data, make sure you put it in. I let. Six inches. Maham. Three inches. Three inches. Shobit. Four inches. Four inches. Adi. Five inches. Five inches. Okay. Let me add it on top there. Taya. Did I already call you? Five. No, right? Taya. Inches. Five inches. Okay. Let me make some more room. Okay. Five inches. So, looking at our data of everyone who measured their pencils to the nearest inch, <coughs> what is the shortest pencil we have in our class right now? What's the longest pencil people are using right now? Seven inches. What is the most common measurement? Five inches. Okay. So again, we can see we've made now a line plot. So this time we're making a brand new line plot. So again, we need a number line at the bottom. So go ahead and draw a line so that you have a number line or that you can get ready to draw a number line. We also need a title. The title is the same. We're still measuring our class pencil lengths, but this time our Units are different. Is it still to the nearest inch? No. So in parentheses, write that it's the nearest half inch. Now, in our previous line graph, we, or line plot, sorry, we found out that to the nearest whole inch, our range was three inches to seven inches. So do I need to make my number line go from zero to 12 again? Where could I start it? Now, could I start it at three? Is it possible that a pencil could be closer to two and a half inches? Yeah, so where should I start it? Maybe at 2. Okay, so I'm going to start at 2. And do I have to go all the way to 12? Where could I stop? Now remember, our nearest whole inch was 7. But could it be a little longer than 7? Mm -hmm. So where should I probably stop? Eight. Sure. Now, this time, do I want to have my increments be whole inches? No. What are my units this time, everyone? Nearest half inch. So. I want to not only have whole numbers, but I want to divide the whole increments into halves as well. So if I have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I have to divide it into six equal spots, right? So here's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And in between those, I want to have two and a half, three and a half, four and a half, five and a half, six and a half, seven and a half. Does that make sense? Go ahead and label and set up your number line. So now we've made a new line plot, okay? What is the range of pencil <coughs> lengths this time? What's the shortest pencil that we have? Everyone? Three and a half. Three and a half inches. What is the longest pencil that we have being used in our class right now? Seven and a half. So what's the difference between the greatest amount, seven and a half, and the shortest amount, seven and a half? What's the difference? What's seven and a half minus three and a half? Four inches. So the difference between the greatest length and the smallest length is four inches. Do you guys see how we can use the data to analyze and get some information? What pencil length is the most common in this class right now? Everyone? Five and a half. Five and a half inches. inches. When we look at our title at the bottom of our graph of our line plot, we can see what the units are. So when we look at these two line plots, did we use the same pencils for the two line plots? Yes. Yeah. We, used, we didn't, no one changed out their pencils, right? But we first made one line plot where we measured our pencils to the nearest inch. Then we made a second line plot, right here, where we measured our pencils to the nearest half inch. What, I know what's the same about these two line plots. The same pencils were used and measured, okay? What's different about the two line plots? Talk to the people around you. Okay, so in our first line plot, our shortest pencil was three inches and our longest one was seven inches. So what was the difference between those two numbers? Four. In our second line plot, our shortest one was three and a half inches and our longest one was seven and a half. So actually the difference was also four inches. So that's the similarity between our two line plots. How many different columns of data in our first line plot did we have to write X's in? Five. Five, right? One, two, three, four, five. What about in our second one? We had one column, two columns, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So would you say that our data was more spread out? We didn't have quite as many in one column. Why is that? Why was the data more spread out 
in the second line plot. Swarnima? Because we were rounding to the uh, nearest inch, we were being more accurate. Ah, as we, rounded, as we rounded this time to the nearest half inch instead of to the nearest inch, our data got more accurate. And so the measurements are more precise on the second one. And therefore, even though two pencils were both in the four column, maybe this time one was in the three and a half, and maybe one was in the four and a half. Do you guys see that? Okay. So if I were to circle one data point here, let me circle this data point. What is that data point? Five, five, five inches. inches. Does that mean that that pencil was exactly five inches? No. Could it be a little shorter? Could it be four and three-fourths inches? Would that round to five inches? Mm -hmm. Or could it be five and one-fourth inch? Well, actually, then that, technically that should round to five and a half. But if it was five and um, instead of one-fourth, what if I said five and one-eighth of an inch? Would that round down to five inches? Yeah. Okay. What about this data point here? What is that one? Six, six inches. Does that mean that that pencil was exactly six inches? What's the smallest length this pencil could have been and still rounded to six? Five and a half inches. What's the biggest this same pencil could have been and still rounded to six inches? Could it be six and a half? No. Could it be just a little bit less than six and a half? Like instead of six and five tenths, could it be six and four tenths inches, right? So anything less than a half, six and a half, would have rounded down to six. Does that make sense? How many was the most we had in our whole number lengths? I don't know, a lot, more than five, right? What about in this one, also more than five, okay? Before I dismiss you to do your respective lessons, problem sets, and things like that, what parts does a line plot have? What, like if, you, if I ask you to draw a line plot, what do you have to include in order to have a complete line plot? And we're going to take notes on this in our notebooks. What's one thing a line plot must have? Addison? It has to label it. With what? It has to have a title? Yeah. Okay. And the title needs to include the units that you are measuring in, in parentheses. Okay, once you have a title, what else do you need? Right above the title. In fact, I'm going to move this down because the title usually goes at the bottom. Haruto, what else do you have to have? Number line. A number line. Good. Okay, and your number line needs to, of course, be labeled, right? Okay, you will notice that our number line, we don't, we usually draw arrows to show that number lines go on and on, but it's actually a line segment. We're only, in our line plots, we're only showing a segment or one part of the number line. Okay, does that make sense? Okay, what else do you need to have in order to have a line plot? If you just have a line and a title, that's like what I started with before we filled in any information. Sachi, what else do we need? We have labels. We wrote down we have a title and we have the number line. That's not quite a line plot yet. Sachi, what else is missing? The data, exactly, okay? You need to use X's or symbols to show the data. Okay, very good.